it says here, show that x squared plus 1.8x minus 3.19 may be expressed in this form. Well, the quadratic um, has been completed, the square to it here, yeah? And they've actually told you there's going to be minus 4 there. So let's just do that, right? So um, x squared plus 1.8x minus 3.19. Now remember, we're completing the square. If it starts with x squared, it's easy peasy, isn't it? So you just start off with x there plus, and then we're going to halve this. Half of 1.8 is 0 0.9, okay, squared. Take away then the square of this. Now the square of 0 0.9 is 0 0.81, and then take away 3.19. So you get x plus 0 0.9 all squared, and then those two taken away, and then you get minus 4. So you get what they want there, okay? So you've got the minus 4, and p, of course, is 0 0.9. And then it says, hence solve the quadratic equation. Hence solve it. Well, um, basically, if I'm going to solve this, you might be thinking, oh, it's a quadratic. Double brackets, you might be thinking, yeah? Um, okay, double brackets. Well, it's going to be hard to factorise that there for double brackets with decimals. Yeah. Oh, you might be thinking, use the formula method. Okay. However, they do say hence, okay? solve. So we're actually going to use the completing the square method to solve this. And what I can do is, is because I've got this here, and I've got it, the equivalent form in completing the square, I can rewrite it, okay? I can use this instead, right? So I can actually solve this. So instead of having the quadratic in that form, I can have it in its complete the square form, and I can solve this instead. And it's actually quite simple, because if I use this, what I can do now is I can take that minus 4 over to the side, okay? It becomes a plus 4, doesn't it? Then what do I do with that square? Wonder, what do we do with that square? Well, if we take the square over, of course, you've got a square root the other side. And when I square root the other side, of course, it's plus or minus 4, isn't it? Yeah? Okay, when you square root it. Um, and don't forget plus or minus, yeah, when you square root. And that becomes really easy then because plus or minus 2, of course, yeah? Square root of 4. And then if we take the, uh, take the 0 0.9 over, it becomes that. Okay? And then you've got two options. You can say, look, either x is 2 minus 0 0.9 or x is minus 2 minus 0 0.9. Okay? So you get 1.1 or x is, what well, if I work that out, minus 2.9. Okay? So I think I've done that right. Yeah. So there's your two solutions. So we've solved it just like we've solved before quadratics using the completing the square root.